you know, one of the reasons I started making videos was to help folks the way I learned. And that's by showing one another. So if you're struggling to figure out why your wiring's acting funny or why your speedometer's not working on your Polaris here, I have a Polaris Sportsman. It's a 500 HO, the touring edition here. And the customer said that he couldn't get it to start or do anything. When he turned the key on, he wasn't getting anything on the, the dashboard. He had replaced this switch here and he got about as far as you see here and still had nothing. So I'm gonna tell you the quick rundown. If you're not getting any power on your dash, of course you gotta do a little bit of work to get to this point, but hey, you can get there. I'm just helping you with the hard part. This connector right here is all your main power clusters that go into the dash. This is your speedometer wire. So we're gonna take this off first and it's just a little squeeze tab on the other side. Right over here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off for you. Okay, so once that's off of here, we're gonna test voltage between pins one and eight and two and eight. If you wanna see the number of these pins on here, you gotta flip this casing open and they're numbered on the back. So I'll open that up just to show you. There we go. Hopefully you saw that, I don't know. When you get this thing open, all of your pins are gonna be numbered right there. One through eight's on top and nine through 16's on bottom. So you're gonna check from pin eight right there, make sure you got ground on pin eight. So just stick one probe there, one on the ground, make sure you tone out, and then put your ground probe back on the eight because you know it's good ground, and you're gonna test voltage to the one right here. Pin one will have voltage whether the key is on or not. Number two right here, is going to have 12 volts when the key is on. So the problem I had when I was working on this, I had power on pin one, but I did not have power on pin two. I had good ground, I had good power, when the key on I got nothing out of two. You know what Polaris says on their troubleshooting guide? They tell you if you don't have the ground on pin eight and you don't have power on one and key switch power on two to repair wiring. That's really specific. That's great troubleshooting data all the way down to in the service manual. So either way, I checked wiring, looked at the schematic, saw where all my connection points were, went all the way through backwards from the speedometer and see what it went through, what it fed through, and ultimately cleaned a bunch of connectors going into the handlebar kill switch, made sure the key switch was good over here, checked a bunch of splice connections and rebuilt that fuse block. So. We've got speedometer now. I've got keyed voltage on two, power on one, and ground at eight. So the speedometer comes on like it's supposed to. And it wants to start, so. So what I've done is saved you the hours of stripping down wires and chasing them down. I'm gonna tell you right now that this power goes through the harness, okay, where it needs to get this power from the two. It goes up through the harness, up and around and around and around and goes through your handlebar safety kill here. So you're off, run, off. Now what you're gonna do is you see this black and red wire right here? You're gonna check voltage to that. Make sure when the key is on, you have voltage to that because that is what sends the through power through to your speedometer. So if you don't have power here, you have to go back. Because this little bitty stupid wire on here, I'm telling you, this red with white tracer goes through about three different splices. It goes, I'm gonna go slow, all through here. It comes down and there's a splice. This goes up to feed some other different things from the key switch and maybe the light switch up there, I believe. It's in the diagram, another runner that goes back up. This guy goes down through the harness down here, over to the fuse block. Check your fuse connections. I had to replace that fuse block because the last one was melted and the connections were terrible. But after it goes through here, it goes back and feeds some other devices and there's some more splices. But even if you're not chasing down a speedometer, I'm going to show you what's in this harness because you'll see the splices on the diagram. I'm going to show you right here. That way you don't have to cut open or if you're looking for a wire, you'll know where to look. Maybe save you some time. So that red and white has a splice right here. It goes back up and feeds some other things up on there. Key switch, um, lighting, accessory, things like that. It goes down through here back to where we already mentioned over here to the fuse block. I'm going to show you there's some other splices here on related to the speedometer. That way you can see if you're chasing them in the harness. Starting off at the very, very top up here above the CDI box, you've got a, looks like purple, purple or brown. And I'd be wrong to tell you what color that is because it looks 
purple to me. So there's a purple splice here. And then you go further down on the harness, you've got a black splice. You've got a green splice. You've got a red tacked on to a red and yellow tracer splice to a yellow and red. And then we go further down the harness, you've got an orange splice here. You've got another orange splice here. And we've got a blue into orange connector here. And further down, let's see, yep, in the middle here of this mess, is a blue to green splice, which is silly, but it's there. Uh, we've got the blue splice here, splice, blue splice. And then we've got another splice in the harness here, which goes from blue, uh, I'm not sure what color that goes to. I didn't have to get that part out of there. But this, I'm just showing you this, if you're chasing other wires, you'll know what you're seeing here and where they go to maybe help give you a better idea of what you're looking for if you're chasing stuff down in the harness because this stuff is under layers of mud, zip ties, tape, and wire loom and I gotta clean it all back up when I'm done but maybe this will help you out some so wish you the best of luck. Hope it helps somebody out because wiring is always fun on these. They're buried in there so tight. At least you know what you're looking for. God bless.